Here's another follow-up using QTVLM to solve a current sailing problem. And this is, uh, this in principle, a real easy one. And then I'll, I'll just follow up and show another feature of this program. But it's, it's kind of a basic one, too, by the way, that we have a cog and SOG that we're reading from the GPS. And then we have the speedometer reading 6.5. And the heading, and this would be a compass heading, but I've converted this to true. But you say the course through the water is, is uh, 076. So we've got a, a, a cog and SOG do not agree with the speed and heading of the vessel. What is the set and drift? And keeping in, keeping in mind, we have to uh, you know handle magnetic versus true when we're doing it that way. And so here's a here's a hypothetical problem. Actually, it matches the last one sort of. We're, we've got a course. We're, this is our course through the water. 076 speed through the water 6.5. Cog is 060 at speed, uh, SOG is 5.3. What is a set and drift? All right, that's the problem we'll do. Now, in this case, we can do the pathways, but I think it's really easy. We don't need anything special. Let's just say create a pathway, and uh, let's just do it that way and see what we get. I guess go here is 1. Uh, oh, I forgot. To, I got to also, of course, edit. Here's pathway. I've got to say uh, append, and so let's say I start here, and and my uh, and I'm out here, and my first one is my uh, 076, 076. Where is that? No, wait here, up here, 076. At um, oh, I've got to go way out here so I get some space on the program. Uh, 076 and it's at uh, 6.5 6 6.5076 well that's pretty good right there right there okay that's pretty good so that's the first one and then let's do it do another pathway create a pathway and just say you know just say I hide that I don't I'm not hiding any intermediate steps it doesn't matter I just have two points here and then I just append the Oh, the name is already in use. Okay, pathway two. Okay, append. Now, let me just, for this one, I've got to put this one here, and then this one is going to be like 60, uh, 60 out here. And then we'll say stop, uh, escape. I'm done, I'm done doing that. But now I want to get these really on top of each other because I'm at the same, same starting point. Yeah, okay. And so this one here, let me just give this guy a name here. This was, uh, what this is, uh, uh, this was uh, uh, a course through the water and uh, speed through the water. Okay, that'll be that one. And then this one is going to be um, SOG and COG right like that okay now but I have to get it whatever it's supposed to be here what's a COG is 60 oh they're quite a bit different uh, COG is 60 at uh, 5.3 there's 60 there's 60 at 5.3 like that okay that's that now, um, in other words, so here's what we're doing. This is actually a mirror of the last problem we, I mean, last thing we plotted, but the boat's sailing this direction, but it's making good this direction. But now we're just looking at instruments. We're looking at our, our course, our, uh, our compass, and our speedometer, and here we're looking at GPS, cog, and SOG. So the difference between these two, I've got to go from here to here, is the current. So one way to do that is another trick in this program. I can just go here and go to more options and draw a line to another way, another point, and this would be cog and sog, and say OK. So there's that line. Does this tell me what it is? Yes, look at that. It's 303 at 2.06. So that's the answer. Uh, it's three. The current, the set of the current is two. Well, according to this, 2.06, and the uh, drift 
I mean, that's a drift, and the set is 303. And then if I do this mathematically, here I've got uh, 2.03 and 3.02. So that is the right answer. So that's that. Now, okay, so that's how, that's how you would do that. And, it, and uh, it's something that in practice, if you don't have a, depends on what kind of program you have. Now, I want to show right now that if you have a program like, uh, like this one, like the QTVLM, th and you're a real boat moving, this will calculate all this for you automatically. I'm going to pause and do that just in case I get scrambled up. I don't have to do the first half again. So I'm going to pause and then just restart again. But let me, uh, before I do that, let's, I guess we just get rid of all that. We know the answer. Okay, so I'm just going to do the trick here. Highlight everything. That's a shift drag. Delete all marks. Yes. Okay, we're cleaned up. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to pause. Now I've resumed the video, and I'm going to just turn on a simulator. So let's see the simulator. Uh, that would be up here under boat. Uh, in, no, boat. Now I've already set up the instruments down here that we're going to need. Uh, instruments. Well, I want a s simulation mode. Okay, I'm turning on the simulator, and now um, let me get around. Well, I've got a. I, this is the way you drive the boat, and I want course through the water is 76. So let me get the course through the water. I can see that there's current. Oh, okay, so let me stop. I want to show a trick here. I have forced to be current. I've gone in here, and I really set the current. I, was, I know what the answer is supposed to be, so I actually just set it. I went in the program, and I set for the simulation. I forced the current to be 2.0 knots three, at 302. So that's set up. That's why the boat's not going the direction it's pointed. And so then I just go on here with the simulation and go around to... Uh, uh, course through the water 076. Um, okay, 076. Okay. Oh seven four. Oh seven seven. I went slightly too much. Well, I gotta learn to drive this boat. Okay, there's 076. Now 6.5 is set. That's set down here. I'm under the engine, and I set the boat speed to 6.5. So that's good to go. Now what's happening here? If we zoom in, you see this is the heading line of the boat. That's which way the boat's pointed. That's 076. And then there is a current. So this line here, this track will eventually follow. This is a COG predictor. And this is set for like six minutes ahead. So this is where this boat will be in six minutes. But you see, it, with that current that I've set, this program's already told me that the cog and SOG is uh, 60 and 5.3. Right? I didn't, I didn't do anything with this at all. That's just uh, calculated based on the current that's forced on this part of the world and the speed I'm driving the boat. But now I can go to this button here, you see, and this is, a, this is now, this is not reading what I set. This is actually doing that vector difference between this, this heading and direction and this heading and direction. And you see it gets 302 at 2.0 knots. 302 at 2.0 knots. So that means that in the real world, in the real world, when you're driving your boat using a program like this, it's, and the, the, you're not setting the current by uh, a fake setting up here in the, back, in the background setting. It's a mother nature giving you the current. But you're going to see this behavior. You're going to see this difference between the heading line and the course uh, COG predictor line. And then this will actually read out for you uh, the, actual, uh, the actual digital value of the current. And then your job as a navigator is look in your tide and current books, look in your current books, and see if that makes sense for the time and place you are. You would like to see that the current books predict more or less what you see. That gives you confidence for planning the rest of your trip. Okay, so that uh, some illustrations of the use of this uh, this uh, handy program.